Argentine Cuisine, Wikipedia Article Audio Argentine cuisine is described as a cultural blending of Mediterranean influences within very small inflows, indigenous, within the wide scope of agricultural products that are abundant in the country. Argentine annual consumption of beef has averaged 100 kg per capita, approaching 180 kg per capita during the 19th century. Consumption averaged 67.7 kg in 2007. Beyond asado, no other dish more genuinely matches the national identity. Nevertheless, the country's vast area, and its cultural diversity, have led to a local cuisine of various dishes. The great immigratory waves consequently imprinted a large influence in the Argentine cuisine. After all Argentina was the second country in the world with the most immigrants with 6.6 .6 million, only second to the United States with 27 million, and ahead of other immigratory receptor countries such as Canada, Brazil, Australia, etc. Argentine people have a reputation for their love of eating. Social gatherings are commonly centered on sharing a meal. Invitations to have dinner at home is generally viewed as a symbol of friendship, warmth, and integration. Sunday family lunch is considered the most significant meal of the week, whose highlights often include asado or pasta. History Typical foods Another feature of Argentine cuisine is the preparation of homemade food such as French fries, patties, and pasta to celebrate a special occasion, to meet friends, or to honor someone. The tradition of locally preparing food is passed down from generation to generation, and homemade food is also seen as a way to show affection. Argentine restaurants include a great variety of cuisines, prices, and flavors. Large cities tend to host everything from high-end international cuisine, to bodegons, less stylish restaurants and bars and canteens offering a range of dishes at affordable prices. Native Americans lived in Argentina thousands of years before the European explorers arrived. Members of an Indian tribe in the southern part of Argentina were farmers who grew squash, melons, and sweet potatoes. Spanish settlers came to Argentina in 1536. Between 1853 and 1955, 6.6 .6 million immigrants came to live in Argentina from diverse sources such as Europe the Near and Middle East, Russia, and Japan, contributing to the development of Argentine cuisine and making Argentina the second country with most immigrants only second to the United States. Most of the immigrants were from Italy and Spain. The Italians introduced pizza, as well as a variety of pasta dishes, including spaghetti and lasagna. British, German, Jewish, and other immigrants also settled in Argentina, all bringing their styles of cooking and favorite foods with them. The British brought tea, starting the tradition of tea time. All of these cultures influenced the dishes of Argentina. Most regions of Argentina are known for their beef-oriented diet. The Spanish term, carn, which means meat is assumed to be beef in Argentina. In other Spanish-speaking countries such as Spain the term is usually qualified with the type of animal, such as carne de vaca, carne de cordero, etc. Grilled meat from the asado is a staple, with steak and beef ribs especially common. The term asado itself refers to long strips of flank-cut beef ribs. Popular items such as chorizo, morsela, chinchulines, malajas, and other parts of the animal are also enjoyed. In Patagonia, however, lamb and chivato are eaten more frequently than beef. 
Whole lambs and goats are traditionally cooked over an open fire in a technique known as asado a la estica. Ingredients The most common condiment for asado is chimichurri, a sauce of herbs, garlic, and vinegar. Unlike other preparations, Argentines do not include chili in their version of chimichurri. Breaded and fried meats mylanzas are used as snacks, in sandwiches, or eaten warm with mashed potatoes puree. Empanadas small pastries of meat, cheese, sweet corn and a hundred other fillings are a common sight at parties and picnics, or as starters to a meal. A variation, the empanada galega, is a big, round meat pie made most commonly with tuna and mackerel. Vegetables and salads are also eaten by Argentines, tomatoes, onions, lettuce, eggplants, squashes, and zucchini are common side dishes. Regional Differences Italian staples, such as pizza and pasta, are eaten as commonly as beef. Fideos, tall errands, gnocchis, ravioles and cannellones can be bought freshly made in many establishments in the larger cities. Italian-style ice cream is served in large parlors and even drive through businesses. In Chibut, the Welsh community is known for its tea houses, offering scones and torta gaelsa, which is rather like torta negra. Sandwiches de miga are delicate sandwiches made with crustless buttered white bread, very thinly sliced cured meat, cheese, and lettuce. They are often purchased from entrepreneurial home cooks and may be eaten for a light evening meal. Central Region in La Pampa A sweet paste, dulce de leche is another treasured national food, used to fill cakes and pancakes, spread over toasted bread for breakfast, or served with ice cream. Alpha jars are shortbread cookies sandwiched together with chocolate and dulce de leche or a fruit paste. The policeman s or truck driver's sweet is cheese with quince paste or dulce de membrillo. Dulce de batata is made of sweet potato slash yam, this with cheese is the Martin Fierro s sweet. Apples, pears, peaches, kiwi fruits, avocados, and plums are major exports. Northwest and Cuyo A traditional drink of Argentina is an infusion called mate. The name comes from the hollow gourd from which it is traditionally drunk. The mate or other small cup is filled about three quarters full with yerba mate, the dried leaves and twigs of the Ilex paraguariensis. The drink, which is rather bitter, is sipped through a metal or cane straw called a bombilla. Mate can be sweetened with sugar, or flavored with aromatic herbs or dried orange peel. Hot but not boiling water is poured into the gourd, drunk, then the mate is refilled. The mate is nearly full of leaves, so each refill only makes a small drink, but many refills are possible before the yerba is spent. In small gatherings it is traditional for one mate to be passed from person to person, filled by whoever has the kettle. It is customary not to thank the refiller routinely, a final gracias implies that the drinker has had enough. Drinking mate together is an important social ritual. Mate casado is the same leaf, which rather than brewed is boiled and served, like tea with milk and sugar to taste. Mesopotamia Other typical drinks include wine, tea and coffee are equally important. Kielmes is the national brand of pale lager, named after the town of Kielmes, Buenos Aires, where it was first produced. Argentine cuisine is heavily based on the growth of all kinds of cereals, grains, oil seeds, fruits, and vegetables, since Argentina is a significantly large livestock and agricultural country. 
In the Mesopotamia waters river fish such as Silverside, Surabi, Dorado, or Boga clearly stand out. Patagonia Meat products have been dominant in the country since the 16th century. The country is regarded as a major beef, pork, and poultry producing and consuming country. As a matter of fact, certain areas such as those located in the south are usually engaged in activities involving sheep and lamb breeding, and shellfish, crustaceans, mollusks and salmonids fishing. The vast breeding activity involving any type of cattle has given rise to a very developed dairy industry that includes products like cow, sheep, and came lied, cheese, dulce de leche and yogurts. Argentina can also be conceived as a great industry engaged in the production of dried fruits, olives, all types of oils and spices. When it comes to blending ingredients and readapating other latitude cuisines traditions, the almost unlimited source of raw materials above enables the existence of a great product versatility. Argentine cuisine is heavily influenced by its European roots and has regional variations. Asado, dulce de leche, empanadas, and yerba mate are found throughout Argentina. In many parts of the country, food is prepared differently and different kinds of foods are made, this includes to a smaller degree food from pre-Columbian times, as in the Northwest. For long periods, urban areas such as Buenos Aires, Rosario and Córdoba welcomed European immigrants, including, above all, those of Italian and Spanish descent. Nevertheless. There was also a migratory flow of German, Swiss, and Middle Eastern immigrants arriving in Argentina. Among the countless changes this melting pot brought was the enrichment of the culinary art. Dishes such as pasta, pizza, pukiras, croquitas s, sauces, embutidos, and chicken and meat courses brought a wider scope of options to daily menus. Furthermore, the bread-making, dessert, pastry, and dairy industries have achieved considerable development in this region. Alcoholic Beverages The above-mentioned dishes have developed a distinctively Argentine nuance. That is why, for example, Argentine pasta includes a wide variety of dishes ranging from spaghetti, fusels, gnocchis, ravioli, cintas, and lasagna to the Argentine-made sorrentinos, agnolatas, cannellones, and fetuchins. Non-alcoholic specialties Pizza made with very thin, and sometimes thick, high-rising doughs, with or without cheese, cooked in the oven or a la pedra and stuffed with numerous ingredients is a dish which can be found in nearly every corner of the country. Buenos Aires, Rosario, and Córdoba also serve it with faina, which is a chickpea flour dough placed over the piece of pizza. People say that what makes the Argentine pizza unique is the blending of Italian and Spanish cultures. At the turn of the 19th century, Immigrants from Naples and Genoa opened the first pizza bars, though Spanish residents subsequently owned most of the pizza businesses. Bread products are consumed all around the country. The deeply rooted bread, pastry, and dessert making tradition derives from blending the above nationalities' products. Bakeries sell not only a wide scope of breads, cookies, and cakes, but also pastries. The latter resembles a sort of roll pastry whose main dough ingredient is either butter or fat and which may be simple or stuffed with dulce de leche, milk, jam, crema pastelera, or quince or apple jelly, among other fillings. The most popular type of pastry is said to be that of medialunas, based upon French croissants. Furthermore, sandwiches de miga are another type of bread products 
they are made only with thin layers of white bread and stuffed with food items ranging from ham and cheese to other more sophisticated combinations such as raw ham, tomatoes, olives, hard-boiled eggs, tuna, lettuce, red pepper, and the like. Desserts and sweets are usually stuffed or covered with dulce de leche. The latter can be eaten alone or on top of cakes, alfajores, pancakes, and pastries, or as a topping spread over flan. Chantilly cream is widely consumed and used in preparing sweets and desserts. Additionally, cakes, sponge cakes, and puddings are very popular dishes. Italian ice creams in this region also achieved a significant degree of development by adding local flavors that somehow preserved the local spirit involved in their preparation. Although asado is eaten all over the country, its origin may be traced back to the pampas. It entails manifold types of meat, which are generally eaten as follows, ashuras, morsela, and sometimes also a pro violata are eaten first. Then comes the coribon, and lastly meat such as asado de tira, vaccio, lomo, calita de cuadril, matambre, entrina, the list is never ending. It is quite common to eat and enjoy a dish known as cabrito al asador in the province of Cordoba. Popular short order dishes Eating Habits This region is regarded as perhaps the one most influenced by Native Americans, and its foods are closely linked to the Andean Incan tradition. When preparing regional dishes, potatoes and corn or wheat are almost always used, including quinoa, peppers, squashes and tomatoes. The most celebrated dishes are humida and tamal in which the corn husk is stuffed with the corn filling itself, seasonings or meat. This region is the most suitable to taste empanadas, particularly those stuffed with meat and offering different types of tempting varieties such as the meat empanada, saltina also filled with potatoes, or the empanada tucumana, which is stuffed with matambre and cut with a knife, or empanadas made with cheese. Empanadas are individual sized and closed savory pastries which may be fried or baked in the oven and are generally eaten with the hands. Stews such as lacro, carbonata, pollo al disco, and casuelas are also typical dishes characterizing this region, which also include pumpkin or potato pudding stuffed with meat. The humid and verdant area of northeast Argentina known as Mesopotamia, comprising the provinces of Corrientes, Misiones, and Entre Rios is another area influenced by Native Americans, particularly by the Guarani tribe. Abounding in rivers and shores, it offers a wide diversity of fish species, such as Dorado, Pacu, Surabi, Boga, and Silverside. Widely grown in this area, cassava is typically included in the region's dishes, as are other components of meals, such as the shippa. However, in this area cassava is cooked alone too, boiled or fried, often as a side dish for asado and empanadas. Sopa paraguaya and shippa guazu are also commonly eaten and are made with corn. Shippa from cassava is often eaten during breakfast with yerba mate, prepared with hot water, or with café con leche. Sopa paraguaya and tarta de choclo are eaten for lunch or dinner. As regards to products made with sugar, papaya jam is typical of the province of Corrientes. The principal product of this region is certainly yerba mate. Consumed countrywide, this product features a peculiarity of its own in this area, it is not only prepared with hot water, but, driven by the region's high temperatures, it is common to see it prepared with cold water as well, in which case the beverage is known as terra. 
Foods produced in the large southern region of Patagonia include fish and seafood from the sea and rivers, and the products of the sheep widely farmed there. Marine species such as salmon, spider crabs, squid, and other shellfish and mollusks may be caught in the Atlantic Ocean. There are trout in the rivers. The many berries grown in the area include cherries, bilberries, strawberries, rosa moschea, and elders, which are made into jams. The northern and central European settlements in this region have built up large-scale production of chocolate and its by-products. Viennese and German cuisine and pastries are also typically associated with this region. Mutton and lamb, together with wild boar and venison tend to make up the region's meat-based dishes. Also typical of southern region are smoked products, including salmon, stag, wild boar, and pheasant. Patagonia has been profoundly influenced by the tribes living there since long before Europeans arrived, in particular, the Mapu Chies and the Araucanos. A typical dish prepared by the latter is the curantu. Its preparation involves making a fire in a hole about 150 cm deep in the ground, and heating stones in it. A bed of nalka or maki leaves is arranged on top of the stones, and ingredients are added in turn on top. Ingredients vary but may include beef, lamb, pork, chicken, Argentine chorizos, potatoes, sweet potatoes, apples, and hold squashes filled with cheese, cream and peas. The food is covered with leaves and damp pieces of cloth to keep the heat in, and covered with plenty of soil. Though wine has traditionally been the most popular alcoholic beverage in Argentina, Beer in recent decades has competed with wine in popularity. Breweries appeared in Argentina at the end of the 1860s, started by Alsatian colonists. The first were nearly all in the downtown of Buenos Aires, and soon Polish brewers began industrial production of beer. San Carlos in the province of Santa Fe, Rio Segundo, and Córdoba in the province of Córdoba. Quilmes and Lavalol on the outskirts of La Plata, San Miguel de Tucumán in the province of Tucumán and on the outskirts of the cities of Mendoza and Salta. The local consumption of beer has risen dramatically in the last generation, Argentines consumed 233 million litres in 1980 and 1.57 billion in 2007. Outpacing that of wine since 2001, the growing production and consumption of beer has supported the existence of related events, for example beer festivals called Oktoberfests or Fiestas de la Cerveza in locations that have a significant German population. Such celebrations copy, in an Argentine manner, Munich's Oktoberfest, and similarly are tourist attractions. However, the presence of a vigorous population of Celtic lineage, principally of Irish origin, has supported the creation of other celebrations of beer, often for marketing purposes, such as St. Patrick's Day, patron of Ireland, which is celebrated with abundant libations. The consumption of alcoholic beverages in Argentina is similar to that of the United States and somewhat lower than the Western European average. Argentines enjoy a variety of alcoholic beverages and Argentina can boast a varied array of elaborations, whether industrial or artisanal. Besides beer and wine, Argentines frequently drink cider. Cider is the most popular beverage of the middle and lower economic classes at Christmas and New Year. Other widely consumed spirits are aguardiente made from sugar cane, known as cana quemada or, simply, cana. A folkloric note about cana quemada, until June 21 it is traditional to drink cana quemada with ruta macho, 
it is supposed that this mixture prevents the flu and other illnesses. Cana competes, mainly in rural areas, with gin. There are many artisanally produced liqueurs in Argentina, for example those flavored with orange, egg, anise, coffee, cherry and, inevitably, dulce de leche. The Hesperidina is a type of liqueur made from orange peels, invented in Argentina around 1890. One may also encounter Chitron Kilo or Citroncello, based on lemon. This beverage arrived with immigrants from the Mezzogiorno, and is produced both artisanally and industrially. Argentines enjoy a wide variety of non-alcoholic infusions. Among these, Maid has long been the most widely enjoyed, in 2006, over 700,000 metric tons were harvested in Argentina, mostly for domestic consumption. The fact that Maid is so prevalent in the Southern Cone, however, should not necessarily make visitors think that other infusions are rare in the region, in Argentina especially. Given the strong European cultural imprint, the consumption of coffee is very common. Chocolate infusions are also popular. This consumption grows during autumn and winter, or in the cold regions of the country, there are two dates where consumption of chocolate infusions is traditional in the primary educational centers, May 25th and July 9th, that is, the two national dates of Argentina. English cultural influence has also made the consumption of tea very common. Medicinal herbs are common in the whole country, among the most popular are, chamomile, lance leaf, boldo, polio, peperina, carcja, thyme, canchalagua, rue, mallow, rosemary, passion flower, Bira Bira, Palan Palan, Muna Muna, to mention only the main ones. Many of these herbs are also used in aperitifs and bitters, whether alcoholic or not. Common restaurants or restaurantes and roti series nearly anywhere in Argentina today serve quickly prepared meals that in the course of the 20th century came to be known as minutas, short order dishes. Some of the dishes included in the category of minutas are milanesas, churrascos, biffs, escalops, tall errands, ravioles, gnocchis, although some are very typical of locations that sell food, biffs and milanesas are served a caballo, milanesa completa, revuelto gramajo, colchon de arvjas, suprema de pollo, matambres. Lengua a la vinagreta, and sandwiches are made with sliced white bread, rather than, say, rolls. The most common sandwiches are those made of milanesa, baked ham and cheese, pan de miga, toast, pebetes, ponchos, cori panes, morsipans, etc. From Montevideo comes a different species of sandwich called the chivato even though it contains no goat meat. Picados, which are consumed at home or in bars, cafés, café tines and bodegons are also popular, they consist of an ensemble of plates containing cubes of cheese, pieces of salami, olives in brine, french fries, menis, etc. Picada s are eaten accompanied by an alcoholic beverage. The people of Argentina greatly enjoy helado. In Spanish colonial times a type of sorbet was made from hail or snow. A picada, the Italian-influenced between meals standby. In most parts of Argentina, lunch is the largest meal of the day. Excluding the largest cities, such as Buenos Aires, most towns close for lunch time. This is when most people return home to enjoy a large meal. Traditional lunches in Argentina are long and well-developed. 
As such, it is common to not eat dinner until 9 at night.